Larry, Larry, by the way, is all right. He's resting comfortably. But he did take a pretty good shot to the head. But he'll be all right. Uh, Paul, by the way, how are we doing with our uh, backup singers? Well, we have a lovely background singer with us today. Uh -huh. Miss Rochelle Capelli is with us. Hello, Rochelle. Nice to see you. I didn't know she spoke Russian, actually, she's until She's here with uh, our Russian friend. Yes. I'm, I'm talking about getting our own backup Permanent singer. Back well, we're going to be negotiating. Our people have been in touch with Rochelle's people already, yeah. and... Uh, and we're Be careful with those radio do. weasels out there in Minneapolis. I know. I'll, I, I, uh, I gotta watch my step with those boys. <clears throat> uh, our next guest is possibly the most popular performer in the Soviet Union today. He is certainly the first Soviet international rock star, and this is uh, his first album right here. It's entitled Radio Silence. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his American television debut, please welcome Boris Grabenshikov.
Grebenshikov. I'm, I'm sorry, forgive me for mispronouncing your name, but it's Grebenshikov. Is that how you say it? Say it for me. Uh, you mean in English? Yes, in English. Where is Grebenshikov? Yeah, well, that's, you're a little closer than I am. Um, uh, this is pretty exciting, isn't it? Well, it's kind of nice. Yeah. Is, is this record, uh, was this made in, in uh, Russia? Or was it made in no, the United States? it was made in the United States, well, all over. It ah. was Montreal, London, New York, Los Angeles. Yeah. And are you touring? Are you, do you get to go all over the world with this? Well, we're going to start the tour on 27th of July. Mm -hmm. And you go where else from here? All over the States. Yeah. And then we go to Europe in September. Do the Russians know you're here? Uh-uh. <laughs> Uh, it's a secret. It's supposed to be a secret. Uh, what, what was the first uh, American rock and roll music you heard uh, when you were a kid growing up? American. Or any, well, any nationality. What did you hear first? Well, I guess uh, the first were the Beatles singing, Komm gib mir seiner Hand, uh -huh. in German. <laughs> and you heard them where? On some kind of... Uh, Voice of America. Voice of America, yeah. Uh, are you making a lot of money doing this? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, does, does that trouble you? Because as you know, uh, here in the United States and other places, uh, rock and roll people who are successful make huge sums of money. Isn't it why uh, rock and roll here is so boring? <laughs> well... But yes, it is. Making you friends all over the world. Uh, it's all part of this perestroika we're hearing. Um, so, uh, uh, and, and what, uh, what are your hopes now? Do you, I mean, do, uh, you, you can't make a great deal of money or you can, how does that work? I honestly don't have any idea. Yeah, I mean, with the money you get from your concerts, where does that go? I think we're losing money on concerts. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'd like to talk to you after the show. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, it was a pleasure meeting you. You sound terrific, and I, and I hope the tour is a big success. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Boris Grabenshikov. Thank you very much. Did you get a chance to? You met uh, Super Dave earlier, right? Uh, well, kind man? of. Yeah. Did you meet Tick Boy? Oh. <laughs> I'll take care of that. Uh, my apologies to Letitia Baldridge, a lovely woman, and uh, we were having so much fun out here, we ran out of time. We'll reschedule her as soon as possible. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Well, you folks are taking it pretty well, like adults. <laughs> Join Dave tomorrow on an all-new late night with Buck Henry and comedian Bill Hicks. Anything else we ought to cover, Paul? Yeah, next Friday I'll be debuting my new single. Yeah, when the radio is on. Capitol Records. Right here, yeah. Thank you very much.